Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and to learn OneNote. We want as many people as possible to learn how to work effectively with tools like OneNote, Office 365 and Surface. So please refer this series to your friends and colleagues. If you really want to have an impact with your team, the most effective way is to set aside time each week to improve your digital skills. You can set up this process in your organization with our Microsoft 365 coaching programs. Check out the link below to see our instructor facilitated coaching programs and contact us for more information. Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? On the page in OneNote, we can work with typed text, pictures, videos, hyperlinks, even printed pages. But first, let's start working with text. Once you've typed in a name for your page in the top left corner, press enter or click into the page to start typing. As you start typing, you might notice that there's a small box around the text that you're working with. We call this a content container in OneNote. That content container is there to hold the text and allow you to move it around on the page. So once you've typed some information in here, you can drag the content container from the gray bar at the top and move it around and place it somewhere else on your page. You can also resize the content container to make it narrower or wider and adjust the text flow. If you click outside of that content container somewhere else on the page, you can start typing and one that will create another new content container for you. These content containers can move around separately on the page and they can even overlap each other. To combine two content containers together, you can either copy the text or cut the text from one content container and then click into the other content container and paste it there. Or you can hold the shift key while you drag one content container onto another to combine the two containers together. As you're typing out your notes, you may want to do a little bit of formatting or give your content a little bit of structure. Click on the home menu and in the formatting area, you can change the font style, color, size and more. You can also use this drop down with predefined heading styles to add some structure to your content. Now that you know how to work with text, you're ready to get productive with OneNote.